Why is it, in general, that mutation biases exist? Well, DNA is a physical thing inside a physical cell. Parts of a DNA chain are simply more fragile than others, and some regions of DNA are better protected by the cell than others. As a helpful, but of course, an imperfect analogy, this here is a string of punched tape from an old Soviet computer. It contains an early version of computer code. Each line of holes and non-holes acts as a byte of digital information that can be read one byte after the other by a machine, similar to how in a protein coding stretch of DNA, each set of three nucleotides acts as a codon that can be read by a ribosome. Here, I'm going to pull on this tape until it breaks. But before I do, can you guess where it will break? Which byte or bytes of encoded information do you think make the weakest links? I'm gonna guess this one right here, but let's find out. <laughs> I was slightly off, but I was pretty close. The point I'm making here is this. When information is encoded into a physical object, either by a computer programmer or the natural process of evolution, it can have the side effect of dictating the durability of that object. This is the case with old Soviet paper tape data files. And of course, this is the case with DNA. Mutation rates can differ wildly throughout a cell's genome at multiple scales. If we zoom in all the way to individual nucleotides, we find that cytosine, under many conditions, is more fragile than the other three types of nucleotides. Cytosine tends to mutate more often. Furthermore, transition mutations, the swapping of similar sized nucleotides, these usually happen more often than transversion mutations, the swapping of different sized nucleotides. Check out the new Stated Clearly animation, Were We Wrong About Evolution?